The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. This industry-driven research project focused on how data could be shared between the private sector and government in order to enhance transport outcomes. The real key to the success was the partnership with Transport Certification Australia, which acted as the intermediary as the freight observatory, enabling data to be shared in a trusted manner that could be counted on by all of the parties. The project found that there is in fact a willingness for private sector trucking companies and other logistics firms to share data with state government agencies to improve transport. However, the benefits need to be very clear and worked through in a collaborative manner. Transport Certification Australia, TCA, was proud to support the work of uh, the SBENRC. This particular piece of research and the work we did with the members of the project and in particular all of the, uh, the collaborators around the country was incredibly valuable for us and we believe has pushed forward the boundaries of us understanding the way voluntary data and telematics data more generally can be used. The first thing we learned, and this came through very loud and clear from industry, was the importance of having a safe harbour, of having what has been termed as a freight observatory, something that is at arm's length a third party which closely protects the data and that is its core function. Closely related to that is the importance of having really clear rules around consent and data sharing. What that data will be used for, under what circumstances it will be shared, how it will be, how it will be protected and stored and how it will be managed. For data to be willingly shared by industry, there really has to be a clear use case for it. People don't share data for the fun of it. People are very wary about how data can be used. And I think one of the things we've seen over the last 12, uh, 18 months has been a real clarity around how this data can be used. Things like investment, planning, access, re, uh, land use integration, these are really critical value cases for having this data available. Not only knowing where to spend money, but also whether that money was well spent. Being able to look back over time and say, did we see a change? And it might be congestion patterns, it might be travel patterns on local roads, there's a whole lot of different indicators you can use, but unless you've got the data, it's really hard to know whether that money was well spent. The governments around the country are rethinking the way they use technology and data to, to improve their decision making. Having a greater understanding of what type of freight is uh, moving through those, those particular projects and uh, having a history and access to that history in the past will help us understand in the future when that project is delivered, what benefits that would provide. Whereas at the moment, we don't really have that information. And long term, you're talking about policy, land use, planning, and so on. And again, a lot of that data is generated by models and so on. And this actually potentially could feed into those particular models that forecast that future development and change in terms of how the road network moves and how transport uses that road network. So that the project really has acted as a pathway for us to engage with um, these commercial data sets and even provide us with greater visibility that they actually are there uh, for us potentially to use in the future. So it joins not just the uh, state government or the transport authorities data, it joins it with the commercial data and maps a pathway forward so that's very beneficial, not just from that point of view, but also understanding who's out there and communicating with them. The benefits that we can see, and once we got over our sort of data sharing, um, privacy concerns, things like that, we could see unleashing a whole raft of benefits in terms of overall freight movements, in terms of um, identifying areas of infrastructure that need to be updated to facilitate better freight transport, identifying key areas where there are issues, and identifying sort of on-ground, small-scale issues around actual nodes of transport. So for us, the key thing was the consent to agreement and the original agreement, that it's well worded, that it covers everything quite specifically in terms of the actual data that's going to be extracted, what's going to happen to that data, the time frame that, that data will be extracted over. Once those things have been nutted out, we gathered great confidence in it over that period of time because exactly what they said, or what was said was going to happen is just what happened. Look, firstly, 
it's assisted us on that sort of global level of the data sharing, because that's obviously a big aspect of this project, is getting comfort within VGC for the data sharing, and we've achieved that. Um, secondly, what it's done is shown us that an industry-wide collaboration can help everybody. What we see going forward is the sort of the data turning into a tangible on-road benefits, which is what we expect to see down the track. And hence another reason why we encourage other industry players to get involved. The larger the data set, the more information, the better the data, the better the feedback. I recall um, when we first started these projects that we kept referring it to the future of roads. And it is very much that. Roads connected with the community, connected with industry, but it makes and improves our transport networks. And the project that we have on this occasion and the ones before it all help to make that a better quality environment from a transport perspective. We've been very fortunate to be able to work with all the industry partners in a very effective way. And it is the industry partners that have played an active part. And it is with their goodwill that we have had some outcomes that will help us into the future. So in expressing my appreciation for being involved, may also, on behalf of everyone, thank our active partners and wish them well as they continue their journey in this particular area.